Now, all over the world, we've seen pet ownership grow, especially with the pandemic puppies in love. Interestingly, in Australia, youngsters are taking to beekeeping, and the aim is to promote the threatened native species. Take a look. Bees as pets sounds strange, but it is a new reality in Australia. Enthusiasts throng up close and personal with some of the country's most important pollinators, but not a stinger in sight. Look, I was surprised how a lot of people actually didn't know that actually they exist. And as soon as they hear the word stingless, they gravitate towards this and they want to find out a little bit more. And then when they see how gentle they are and tiny, uh, they all want it because it's the best pet. Australia native stingless bees are quickly becoming the pet of choice. From the more than 2,500 types of native bees found in Australia, these bees are the only species in Sydney that live in a colony and make honey. They are also one of just 12 species that are stingless. Native bees have been a part of this ecosystem for hundreds of thousands of years um, and they face a number of threats, um, notably habitat loss. Amateur bee rescuers are stepping in to raise awareness about the bee, hoping education will help boost the bee's popularity. Now more than a hundred hives have been installed in backyards, parks and childcare centres in and around Blakehurst. And the Billion Bees Foundation expects many more will continue to come on board. Kids have a natural inquisitive to actually learn about biology and insects. And when you've got them at your doorstep, you can actually observe them. And then all of a sudden, I've seen with my kids how they're starting to observe not just the bees itself, the, the stingless ones, but also other type of insects. The, street, he pretty much the bee may be an unusual pet, but it's doing a lot of good for the environment. Bureau Report, We On, Wild is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.